Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. So we are here with this problem 28 of your paper and this problem 28 is a problem of analysis. So it's a very interesting problem. Okay, so keep following my steps. You will uh, get your answer in the end. So what we have f is a continuous function okay f 0 1 to r be a continuous function such that f of 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 2 and f satisfies this property also all right now what question is asking question is asking us about the integral of fx so you see fx they are asking us about the fx integral of fx and we are not given with the function fx so it it becomes difficult to find out this function fx so by using this condition only we have to find out fx it means because otherwise you cannot find out integral there is no way to find out integral un uh, until you know this integrand so now you are given with this initial point and this equation we don't know what it is but this equation will produce a function f and that will be unique by using this uh, this what this initial point all right now where you see these con conditions initial conditions you see these conditions in differential equation that means this equation can lead us to the derivative the value of the derivative because it looks similar to like that so now let us see how we can prove it so we, we are given with we are given with this condition that fx minus fy minus of x minus y is less than sine of x minus y whole square. Alright. So I am just dividing x minus y on the both side. Alright. So what you will get if you will divide x minus y on the both side. Uh, if you will divide it also i'm taking the mod also all right so you will get fx minus fy minus x minus y sorry it will not be x minus y because i'm dividing it you will get one from here and x minus y over here modulus is like this now on the right hand side you will get sine of mod of x minus y whole square by mod of x minus y all right now what do you know about derivatives derivative has uh, ex exactly this kind of form when will uh, when derivative uh, uh, exist uh, then it, it has some uh, some kind of format like this you, you understand that so let me clear this x y belongs to 0 1 now now they are inside 0 1 so if you have let us say this is your number line this is your x let us say this is your y and they are inside let us say this is uh, 1 this is 1 and this is 0 they are inside 0 1 now what you can do you can always find a h which is greater than 0 or you can say h is uh, I'm not considering what is h you can always find out a h such that this y is x plus h are you getting my point you can always do that so if h belongs to 0 comma 1 if this h belongs to 0 comma 1 I should write more okay okay I will clear that thing all right so if x h belongs to 0 comma 1 then you can always write this x y as x plus h or x as y plus h are you getting my point so let us say this uh, this x is smaller and y is bigger then you will have this condition and if if uh, if y is smaller and x is bigger then you will have this condition all right so actually we don't have to think on that because uh, i will tell you later it's 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 actually called left hand and right hand derivative that will be that i will tell you later so we can always find such h that means if you will sub subtract x minus y what you will get you will get h over there all right 
सो यू हैव f ऑफ x प्लस एच माइनस एफ ऑफ ऑल राइट सो आई मेड अ मिस्टेक वॉट आई शुड राइट हेयर लेट मी रेज दिस पार्ट सो लेट अस यूज दिस कंडीशन ऑल राइट फॉर अ वाइल लेट अस यूज दिस वन देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट लेटर सो यू विल गेट एफ एक्स माइनस एफ ऑफ वॉट एक्स प्लस एच and on the denominator part what you will get x minus y is there so you will get minus of h minus 1 all right on the right hand side you will get h square because it's small so it will be positive and on the numerator it will be h all right now you can if you will take this case also then the then the uh, then the equation will be same i will tell you here so you can write this equation like this fx inequality i will say not equation you will get this minus 1 is less than sin h square over h now what you do if you if you uh, take this x and move it toward y then the distance between x and y will be very small distance between x and y actually means y minus x so it means h will be very small that means this thing will turn to derivative when h is small so let us apply limit on both side what you will get here fx plus h minus fx when h is going towards zero you will get this sin h square over h now i can leave this exercise to you that this limit on the right hand side is actually zero it's easy to prove all right use l hospital rule in order to show this now you got this so this thing is actually called the derivative all right so it's currently it's the right hand derivative if you will apply all of this then also you can get left hand derivative also all right so from here you can say that this f dash of x minus 1 is less than equal to 0 because this is derivative now in your right hand side you have 0 so this modulus quantity is less than equal to 0 so it means that this in the thing inside will be 0 because modulus is always positive so from here you will get f dash of x is equal to 1 what is the meaning of f dash of x is equal to 1 it means that uh fx will be integrate both side you will get x plus c now use this condition that f of 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 2 all right so if you will place 1 by 2 in this equation you will get 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 uh yeah everything is correct plus c that means c will be uh i think minus 1 c is minus 1 now what you have to integrate you have to integrate x minus 1 dx all right integration of 0 to 1 fx dx x minus 1 so you will get x square by 2 minus x and you have also limit 0 to 1 so x square by 2 minus x 0 to 1 1 by 2 minus 1 so you will get finally minus 1 by 2 as your answer so now let me check my calculation then i will explain everything again so everything is fine all right so let me explain it again you have this equation and what you have to do you have to turn this equation into the derivative all right so if you understand def definition of derivative then actually you can understand this question so what i did i just took x minus 1 com x minus y common out of it so we got this now in order to make this quantity the derivative you need x to be very close to y all right so then it will be called f dash x if x is very close to y now what i did i just substitute y is equal to x plus h you can also do this thing also all right without loss of generality i am doing that part now finally you got this equation in your hand now if i reduces your h then actually you are doing x is uh, you what you are doing you are shifting this x toward y if you reduce this h that is why i am doing limit h goes to 0 on both side 
so if i apply limit h goes to 0 on both side then this will be called the derivative all right this will be called derivative now the same thing you can apply over here and you will get it is a as a left hand derivative are you getting my point or not you will get what left hand derivative so by using that you can show that right hand derivative is also one and left hand derivative is also one i missed that step because uh, then this video will be very long but keep in mind that this after this step you are not finished because you you only got right hand derivative by just uh, by using this equation you can get left hand derivative and both will be equal to one so that is why we can say that this function fx is a differentiable function and using this we got our ordinary differential equation and using ordinary differential equation we solved this question after this step there is nothing left in the question got it so this is how we can show uh, that integration of 0 to 1 fx dx is minus 1 by 2 all right there is no other way than this if you understand derivatives actually then you can do this question easily all right i understand all of this so i don't need to write everything in the exam because it's a it's a multiple choice exam so what you can do you can easily quickly do this just find out this limit then you will you are you are you done with this question all right so try to understand definition of derivative and then try this question yourself then you will be uh, able to do it quickly. Alright, so thank you.